What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you and today we're going to talk about how I've been ruined from watching TV and movies on anything less than a 180 inch screen. Yes, I said 180 inches. Now if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you may already know why I'm spoiled and it's because of the Optima HD 161X WHD. Now that's a mouthful. So I've been using this for about two months and I'll give you my experience with it after we run through some of the highlights. It has a 2000 lumens bulb, so it's bright even during the day. Vertical lens shift, so mounting and setup is super easy. It can even output 3D content. It comes with a wireless HDMI streaming box for wireless uncompressed 1080p goodness and it works up to a thousand feet. Pure engine to eliminate motion blurs for things like sports and fast paced action movies. Dynamic black for deep blacks and shadows. The lens is all glass and it's multi-coated. It can project up to 300 inches, but my space only allows for 180 inches, but I'm pretty happy with that. It also comes with a remote that'll let you control everything, so no worries about mounting it up high like I have it and then needing to press a button on a unit to get to some kind of feature. So as soon as I got this, my wife said, the fan is super loud on those things, and there's no way we're gonna be able to watch TV during the day. Luckily for me, she was wrong on both counts. The fan is super quiet, and watching in the day has not been an issue at all. As you can see, I ordered a wall mount from Amazon and ran a plug down the wall behind the picture. On top, I have the HDMI receiver that plugs into the back of the projector, and that's it. On the output side, I have my Xbox One, Apple TV, Blu-ray player, as well as my Direct TV box running into the receiver and then one single HDMI out to the transmitter. It has been working flawlessly the whole time since we replaced our TV with it. It takes some getting used to watching the Food Network on a 180 inch screen, but watching sports is simply amazing. And the kids also love watching their movies and cartoons. It's like being at a movie theater. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. I'll leave links in the description for more info on the Optima projector as well as the mount that I used. Do you guys think you can make the switch from normal TV to a projector? Or even a better question, can I make the switch back from projector to TV? Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.